say it's cheesy you have to record yourself while crying, but... Oh my god, baby Kappa. Oh god. Today my tassiun or appear like a good normal ice cream date. But let me tell you, it's like three minutes before I said bye to my baby. And it's not funny guys. It's not funny. Huh. Baby. Imagine all the people. I made jealous. <laughs> Walking around holding your hand. <laughs> the time of laughter is coming. Another departure. <laughs> so sometimes I hate recording these departures, but it's something I love to look back up to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Most of the time I try to act gangster, you know, these things can't move me, I ain't gonna cry, or at least I won't record myself crying, we are strong enough to even come to the airport alone, we don't need that kind of support, you know, until the reality hits you, and oh my god, I had a moment of meltdown at the airport, because I could not imagine going back without my husband. Especially after getting so used to being around him. This has to be my hardest goodbye ever. <laughs> they say it's cheesy you have to record yourself while crying, but. <laughs> oh my god. Baby Kappa. Oh god. Is this not interesting that a place that once brought you joy can as well as bring you sadness? This is me heading to the airport while I was going to pick my sweetheart. By then he was my fiancé. And being able to see how much you've been able to do within those three months is just mind-blowing. And let me take you through just a good highlight of what those three months are. And maybe you will join me or understand why the tears. I'm at the airport waiting. Sorry, it's been draining. My lens cannot clean because it's wet. But the tension that I'm feeling right now, not like the tension, it's like excitement and like emotional, like any minute you can show up. Yeah. Ah. From airport pickup to a home full of decorations and just surprises. This was really lovely. Ah. Cheers to us. And we had some hair surprises. <laughs> this one didn't hurt everybody. Hair surprises <laughs> Two road trips within Kenya, which was really amazing. Memories to always remember. 
to dowry being paid and meeting my extended family which was a lovely and a lifetime memory to us attending you know like church and this kind of ceremonies aha uh-huh. to more road trips to us Then definitely to the day that I said yes to you being my husband, you know, like this big beautiful day and then to all the pranks that we've had and even declaring you the best prankster the year 2023. <laughs> Pranking a prankster. Oh, you pranked me. Oh, I got so mad. I was calling the manager and like, what's wrong with you? Oh, stop it. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to all the time. To us enjoying and celebrating honeymoon, basically enjoying ourselves and celebrating each other. And even crossing the air together. Happy 2024! To plenty of dates and just enjoying different kind of cuisines, restaurants, just seeing what my country has to offer. You know, and I have to mention here, plus a lot of cooking and just teaching each other on different meals from our different countries and culture. She has just lost the game. Mm-hmm. Ah! I see, there's no ah. To celebrating my family and basically just finding more reasons to eat Nyamachoma any moment we get. But anyway, like to a lot of cheers and just being grateful for life, birthday celebrations together. You know about the to the high to the low stuff like this? Of course. Okay, to the okay, low. Leaders, leaders, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to ticking off things we've never done, like and have always been on our to-do list, like a game driver together, which was really amazing. And definitely to me making you dress up just because I feel like you know what, I'm pranking you, let's dress up and we go to places just looking so good to enjoy different cuisines. Let me tell you, what about the games? Like, there's so many things I could talk about, but this I just like my highlight. And to even see that now we are at the airport to say bye and to mark the end of this season is just so emotional. I guess this is one of those things that we say you cannot fully understand how this feels unless you're going through it. This is not cool. The emotions just out of the roof. But this is life. Above all that, we were sure to end our season with sharing ice cream because this is one thing we like to bond on and though this season feels sad to come to an end i'm excited for the new season that is yet to come and thank you guys for your patience for allowing me to take a break to enjoy what i'm calling honeymoon or even some of you are calling honeymoon space and uh, i can't wait to see what life has in store even though i'm sad i know it's not gonna last forever All love and hugs to anyone else that's in a long distance marriage and relationship. Always, always remember to create time for that which ignites your soul. Until next time, bye for now.